Thanks for being with us. It's been nearly two years since a Brown County woman went missing. Yeah, and her family is not giving up on finding her. Victoria Prokopovitz was last seen at her home in the town of Pittsfield on April 25th, 2013. There's been no sign of her since that time. Numerous searches have been done, but at this point, no leads. And joining us live now is Marsha Lords, uh, Victoria's daughter. Marsha, you've been working tirelessly for two years about this. Where are we at right now with this investigation? They're still working on it, but still no leads. We still, Frustrating, huh? Yes. Um, we still wait for the phone to ring every day, and we just hope that someone can think of something and call Crime Stoppers and, and um, help with the investigation and help us find her. And you're so. still doing things on your own. I mean, these searches on your own, you're still, still getting the reward money. You're doing a lot of this on your own. Like I said, yes. I saw a poster up the other day in a small town around here. Yes, we've got the reward at $11,000 right now. And we continue to fundraise to increase it if we have to. And now you've sent this proclamation to the governor. Tell us, you know, kind of how this, this got started. What did you do? Tell us about the letter. Well, um, last year when we were approaching one year that my mom was missing, I became so involved on the other missing person sites and realized how many people out there are missing. And as we are now approaching two years, I decided it wouldn't hurt to send a letter and just see what we could do about um, letting other people really know how many missing are out there. Um, because when I talk to people, no one is aware of how many people are missing. And there are still quite a few. I mean, it's near 100 it's, in Wisconsin. Yes, 102. And uh, there's um, six in Green Bay. And when I ask everyone who those six are, they only can name two. Wow. You know, any that have had any media coverage. And that's and your mom probably and Amber Wilde. Or Lori Deppis. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they are the ones that you right. know, really stand out. Right. And even my mom, she's been in the media a lot, and mm -hmm. still there's people that don't know she's missing. Can I ask you a quick question? You don't have to give us what you're feeling, but do you have any gut feelings in your mind what happened? What happened to my mom? Yes. I think something terrible happened, and I think somebody knows something. And... Um, Otherwise, we would have found her by now. Yeah, absolutely. And that's just it. We remind hunters looking in the woods during hunting season. I mean, you're, you're still trying so hard. You, you just want answers. I just want answers, and it doesn't matter. It's right. just we want answers. Closure, nothing else. And so you petitioned Governor Walker to make April Missing Person Awareness Month. I asked him for a Missing Person Awareness Day to okay. honor those that are missing. Um, it's really hard when you're in, in shoes like mine um, to feel like you have no voice or that your loved one doesn't have a voice. And um, I feel like that's just something I could do to help others. And so I was pleasantly surprised when I heard back from him and he signed the proclamation making a whole month. Not to just today. Not just today. Not just today. Wow. So I was ecstatic. That's Fantastic. Wonderful. Congratulations on that effort. Thank That's you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us, Marsha. Thank and you. We hope that you know you find something. Some Thank kind you. Of Absolutely. Thank you. All right. And for more information about the Prokofovitz's case and the proclamation from the governor, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story. Thanks.